Shalom. Brother Kabad back in our GMS lesson, GMS keep pushing. Before I go any further, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father's only begotten Son, Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem Rakakodash. The honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone for teaching us this truth according to the Bible and Rubel. Well. I know Shalom, the artist and see I can about the four corners of the earth pushing this truth through diligence and sincerity. <clears throat> we ought to fear Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. And that's very crucial in these last days, man. You know, a lot of camps tell you that you're Israelites. They tell you about the law. They tell you about who the enemy is. But you don't see too many camps telling you about to fear the Lord, man. Fear is very important. And we're going to jump into it, man. This is Sirach chapter 1, verse 8. There is one wise and greatly to be feared. The Lord sitting upon his throne. That's right, man. Who you ignorantly call God, right? Who you ignorantly call Jesus, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, are to be feared, man. That means to be greatly terrified of someone or something that can cause pain. And that's where wisdom starts for you Israelites. The so-called Negro Latino Native Americans, that is wisdom. Let's grab a precept. <clears throat> Let's go to the book of Psalms. This is Psalms. 25 and 14 the secret of the Lord is with them that fear him and he will show them his covenant you wondering why you can't get the deep dark sayings the mysteries the parables that are, are written about in these scriptures it's because you're not fearing the heavenly father man You gotta sit back and think about what the Lord wants from us, man. He's getting ready to bring a lot of death and destruction according to the Bible. And it's only gonna go well for those that fear him, man. But if you're not fearing, you're not gonna know that secret. This is Deuteronomy 32 and 39. It says, See now that I, even I, am He, and there is no God with me. So the Most High is telling you there's no other idols or gods in the heavens with Him. All right? Where well, He's seeking counsel on what He should do next. He stands alone. It says, I kill and I make alive. I wound and I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. Why would you not want to fear an entity like that, man? Why would you not want to fear the power of all powers? Right? The one and only true living power. Knowing that your life is in the palm of his hand. Remember, fear no matter of fact, let's get it. Let's get it. And I'm land backing. I'm land backing off the uh, the brother Hawad. All right. I did a lesson on fear earlier. 
And, um, you know, Jake want to get into all the deep, dark sayings and, you know, the deep breakdowns of the scriptures. When you need a heavy dose of fear, right? The foundations. Trust, fear, faith. This is Proverbs 1 and 7. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. That's the, that's the root, man. It's not getting these college degrees or the, the, the so-called wisdom of the world. That's foolishness with the Lord. Especially for you Israelites, man. Because he gave us his law, statutes, and commandments. He gave us his word. That's for any other nation. He hasn't dealt with them, man. The fear of the Lord, Proverbs 1 and 7, is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and instruction. They hate it. They hate it. You see? Back in Sirach chapter 1. Whoso feareth the Lord it shall go well with him at the last and he shall find favor in the day of his death so it's win-win situation man when you fear the Lord man if you're on your deathbed the Lord's gonna be there with you man to either rise you up because remember we read the Lord wounds and he heals he kills and he makes alive right It says, verse 14, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Going back to Proverbs 1 and 7. And it was created with the faithful in the womb. Before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. Right? Let's see here. Verse 21, jumping down. The fear of the Lord driveth away sins. Sin is when you transgress the law. According to the book of 1 John. Right? It says the fear of the Lord driveth away sins. And where it is present, it turneth away wrath. That's right, man. The fear of the Lord turns away the wrath of the Lord. The Lord's going to put that wrath on someone who's not fearing him. You know, you Israelites, you're scared of dogs, you're scared of snakes, spiders, rats, right? Insects. But when it comes to fearing the power that created all things, you refuse. Well, you're going to learn, man. You're going to learn soon come, man. That the whole time you was on this earth, you had one job. You had one job, man. And the Lord made it easy. Ecclesiastes 12 and 13 led us to the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear Yahweh and keep his commandments, for this is the whole duty of men, of you Israelite men, woman and child, man. That's that's your whole duty, that's your job as an Israelite. That's it, that's it. For a precept, uh, I can't find it. All right, let's end it off on um, let's see here. This is Deuteronomy chapter 8, verse 6. Therefore, thou shalt keep the commandments of the Lord thy power to walk in his ways and to fear him. 
You see? This is what the Lord commands us to do. If you fear the Lord, you're not going to uh, be worshiping false idols and gods. Right? If you fear the Lord, you're not going to be eating shrimp, pork, crab, lobster. You're not going to be defiling your temple with weed, smoke, drugs. Right? If you fear the Lord, you're not going to uh, uh, take on the ways of this world, man. Which promotes everything opposite according to the Bible. You're not going to be down with man with man, woman with woman. You're not going to be down with the woman ruling over uh, 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 over you. Right? You're not going to be down with the way the society in this current age is being ran. Let's grab one more Starbucks on I haven't brought this out in a while. And with fear in the Lord come, comes protection, man. Protection that we as Israelites need, especially walking in the shadow of, of death, man. Okay? Which is right here in America, man, a.k.a. Uh, Babylon. This is Psalms 34 and 7. <clears throat> it says... The angel of the Lord encampeth round about them that fear him and delivereth them. See? So the Lord going to have his angel protecting them that fear him, man. Just keep that in mind when you decide not to fear the Lord. The Lord's going to protect the ones that's doing what he say do, that's fearing him, man. Now is the time. If you, if you haven't thought at any point in your life to fear the Lord, now is the time. Jacob's trouble is getting ready to come down. <clears throat> Second Ezra is 15 and 16 is getting ready to come into play hard. You know, these uh, race fights, class wars, you know, these, um, these uh, martial law troops up and through the streets of America. All right. The MOB, the jab. You know, homelessness, famine, diseases, all these things are going to happen at an all time high, man. Now it's time to fear. Shalom.